And number three this morning, race resolution. Today, the Georgia Board of Education will meet to talk about guidelines for teaching race in classrooms all across the state. This has been a real hot button issue that we've been following for you as parents, teachers, and students debate the curriculums in Cherokee and Forsyth counties. This is our top story this Thursday morning. Joe Ripley joining us live from outside the state's Department of Education in Atlanta. So Joe, walk us through some of the resolution this morning. Hey, good morning to you, Aisha. The resolution the Georgia Board of Education will consider this morning uh, is going to be five pages long. It calls for the equal treatment uh, among faculty and staff, as well as students and administrators, regardless of race. This, of course, comes in response to Governor Brian Kemp's denunciation of critical race theory. The analytical approach to teaching seeks to answer the question, how has racism impacted society? But critics say critical race theory places blame and guilt on white people for centuries of oppression. The resolution calls this approach political activism and says schools that allow this kind of teaching should not receive funding from the state. Forsyth, the Cherokee County School Boards have already pledged not to teach critical race theory. But Dr. Beverly Tatum, an educator on race, says debates about critical race theory must happen. It's hard to have a conversation when people aren't using shared language. You know, so if one person is saying, Ban critical race theory, but they have an understanding of it that's different from my understanding of it. It's going to be hard for us to come to common ground.